So you've created a site, created your first product, and now it's time to put it all together and create a sales machine. There are three basic steps, connecting a payment processor, choosing a product, and using a site to bring it all together. Remember, before you start, you will need a Stripe account. First, we'll connect Stripe's test feature in order to make a dummy sale. Number one, in the dashboard, click on Account in the top right-hand corner. Then select Integrations from the menu on the left-hand side. Two, scroll down to Payment Processes and click on Stripe. Three, a blue box will appear. Select the Overview tab and click on Go to Website. A new tab will open. Enter your Stripe login credentials or create an account if you don't already have one and navigate to your Stripe dashboard. Four, click View Test Data in the left-hand menu. This will put Stripe into sandbox mode so we won't make any actual transactions. Five, click on Developers, then API keys in the left-hand menu. Copy the test publishable key and secret test key and paste them into their respective boxes in the Convertry Payment Processes tab. Please make sure test mode is on in Stripe. You can toggle it on and off in the left-hand menu and that your API key will change afterwards. Only copy and paste the test mode key just now. Six, click save. You'll then be prompted to choose a currency. Click continue to settings and choose your preferred currency and click save again. Please note, if you've already got products live, changing your keys to test keys here will stop sales. So make sure you perform your test purchase as quickly as possible and then change back to your main keys right away to minimize disruption. Secondly, we need to create a product. If you've already set up a product, great. If not, have a look at another help article to find out how to create your first product and then come back here when you're done. Thirdly, we need to use our product site to link everything together. You will need to create a site with at least a checkout page and a checkout form plus a download or thank you page to proceed. Number one, in the Convertry dashboard, click on Campaigns on the top menu. Two, select the Funnel campaign and then the blue Edit. Three, click on Edit page on your checkout page card. Click on Products in the top toolbar and then select the product you want the page to sell from the drop-down list. You can enter a message in the credit card statement box, which is what your customer will then see in their bank card statement. Then put the URL of your thank you or download page in the redirect URL box. Four, make sure you have at least a credit card input element and submit button element on your page, plus any other details which you need to collect. Five, click save and publish in the top right hand corner. If your product is a digital download and you need to include a download link and a thank you page, or let your customers know where they can access their purchase. For example, you might say they're going to receive an email soon. Remember, it's a good idea to head to the Properties panel in your Thank You or Download page and toggle both the No Index and No Follow to On. This prevents search engines from indexing the page. You can do this by heading to your page, clicking the Page button and then Meta Info. Time to test it out. Go to stripe.com slash docs slash testing. Here you'll find a list of dummy credit card numbers for making test purchases. Head to your published checkout page and enter any of these dummy credit card numbers and any date in the future as the expiry date and any random three digit number as the CVC. Click the Buy button and you should be taken to your Thank You download page and the order will then show up in the order screen on your dashboard. Once you've made a successful purchase, 
you're going to need to replace the Stripe test account with your actual account keys. So, number one, in the Convert Tree dashboard, click on Integrations, then Payment Processes, and scroll down to Stripe. Two, this will open a new tab. Log in to stripe.com and toggle View Test Data to Off on the left hand menu. Three, click on API in the left hand menu. Copy the publishable key and the secret key and paste them into their respective boxes in the Convertry Payment Processor tab. Remember to make sure test mode is off and then you only copy and paste the actual account keys. Four, click Save and republish your checkout page. And that's going to be it. You'll now have a fully working sales machine. Well done you.